Hello guys and girls, voices from the dark here, welcome to the Savior of Skyrim challenge at long last! 100% completion on Skyrim, can it be done? I believe it can. You're about to go on an adventure with me where we will make a new character, complete all the content of the game on the hardest difficulty and it's gonna be hopefully a very enjoyable journey. Now we start off here on the main menu as you often do you can see some of these choices are renamed, but they still mean the same. It's continue, new game, load, and quit. I've been tinkering with some of the text files in the game because I have this idea for how I want to theme certain mechanics in the game, which will relate back to the character that we are going to play. So, I believe it is time for us to start a new game. To be born again. To be put on a cart, going towards Helgen, one last time. Let's not dilly-daddle. Let's go. Let's begin the journey. Ten years after we first sat down to play this. We are back once more. We've seen this road with many characters. The first episode that I ever did of Skyrim, I uploaded on November 10th. 2011. Whoa! One day before the game was officially out. True magic. We've seen it with Elianor, Alice, Marthar, Kijor. And now it's time to do it all on one character. And I am so ready. Let's hope the horses can get there, that they don't fly off to space. Ugh. I am hopeful though. What do you say? Well, you're gagged. Oh. You are finally awake. Mm-hmm. You were trying to cross the border, right? Walked right into that Imperial ambush. Same as us. And that thief over there. Damn you Stormcloaks. Skyrim was fine until you came along. Empire was nice and lazy. If they hadn't been looking for you, you could have stolen that horse and been halfway to Hammerfell. You there. You and me. We shouldn't be here. It's the Stormcloaks the Empire wants. We're all brothers and sisters in binds now, thief. Shuts up back there. What's wrong with him, huh? Watch your tongue. You're speaking to Ulfric Stormcloak, the true High King. Ulfric? The Jarl of Windhelm? You're the leader of the Rebellion. But if they've captured you... Oh, gods. Where are they taking us? I don't know where we're going. But Sovereign Guard awaits. No, this can't be happening. This isn't happening. Hey, what village are you from, horse thief? It's so beautiful. Why do you care? A Nord's last thoughts should be of home. Rorikstead. I'm... I'm from Rorikstead. General Talia, sir. The headsman is waiting. Good. Let's get this over with. Here we go. Sure. Mara, Debella, Kinnereth, Akatosh, Divines, please help me. Mm -mm. They're not here to hear us. We'll have to do this Look, on our own. General Tully is the military governor. And it looks like the Dalmor are with him. Bum, bum, bum. Damn elves. I bet they had something to do with this. <laughs> he looks so frightened, almost like he's being carried off to his execution. It's crazy. What do you say, Raylaf? Wanna reminisce? This is Helgen. I used to be sweet on a girl from here. Wonder if Vilod is still making that mead with juniper berries mixed in. Mm. Funny. When I was a boy, Imperial walls and towers used to make me feel so safe. Now times change, huh, Raylaf? We'll have to be back for that mead with juniper berries. That's actually going to be important for time. one of our tasks. The soldiers inside the house now. Whoa. Yes, Papa. Listen to your dear Papa. Okay. Why are we stopping? I don't know why I'm nervous, why but I am. End of the line. All right, all good. Hey, look at that. We got Let's here in one go. piece. Shouldn't keep the gods waiting. Maybe we won't. Oh, well. Wait, we're not rebels. Is that horse in the right spot? Face oh no. Oh no, it's taken Hadvor's spot. We weren't with you. This is a mistake. 
Oh, <laughs> Advar, you're looking a little... I had a long face. Empire loves their damn list. Oh, this is perfect. This is how it's supposed to be. It's just right. <laughs> it's supposed to be like this. Alright. See ya, Rayloff. What did the horse do, I think? I wonder. You can't do this! Halt! You're not gonna kill me! Archers! We'll see about that. Anyone else feel like running? Never lucky. Wait. You there. Step forward. Me? <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> nah, the horse is in frame. That's amazing. Okay. Who am I? For a challenge like this, I've been debating a lot over our race. Uh, it's it's probably obvious from maybe thumbnail or title what our race is, so this isn't going to be a surprise to you, most likely. But we have, of course, the Argonians, the Bretons. Uh, for those of you who do not know, I recently am I'm wrapping up a 100% completion run on Oblivion, uh, on like the highest difficulty where I play as a Breton, because their passive ability in that game is insane. So I have been con I was considering Bretons for this. We have the Dunmer, of course, the beautiful Dark Elves. We have the High Elves, which you wouldn't catch me dead playing. Uh, Imperials, they are here too. The Khajiit, who look a little off without their regular texture mods, but I've decided to have certain texture mods, mostly for, hey, rocks look a little sharper and the like, but for characters, I want to keep it vanilla. I like that look. The Nords, of course, which, for Savior of Skyrim, Nord was just so fitting. But we do also have the Yorsimer, the Red Guard. Look at the, ooh, mm, look at the mutton chops on that man. And Wood Elves. But the Nords, that's where my, <laughs> I can't. Can you look another way, please? I'm having to change my face before I go off and meet my death. So, where are we on the sex slider? We're gonna be a man, we're going to be a male Nord, and we're going to work our way up to find an appearance we like, so give me a moment. Alright, I think that's our character all adjusted and ready to go. I decided to just zoom through character creation because it's not the most interesting part of this whole experience and we don't need to linger too long where we are. Just showing you some of the sliders in case you are interested. So, Mr. Nordman, is this you? It is. What is our name? The name of our hero is Mimir. Now, Mimir also has a nickname that he has gained, and that is Many Lives. So, in this case, I will add it, but you may refer to him as Mimir, should you wish. And you might wonder about his eyes, like, can he actually see anything? Uh, no! No, he's completely blind, but that's okay because he has a greater perception of the world around him and he's being guided by some sort of force. We'll get back to that. For now, Mimir many lives. I'm good. Horse, take it away. <laughs> you picked a bad time to come home to Skyrim, Kinsman. I know, Horsey. Captain, what should we do? <laughs> he's not on the list. He's looking over. Forget the list. He goes to the block. Okay. By orders, Captain. Yes. I'm sorry. At least you'll die here, in your homeland. Oh, horsey. Follow the captain, prisoner. I actually like this horse. You mean a lot to me. I hope you're not killed by a f ah, fireball. Okay. It's time then. Ulfric Stormcloak. Some here in Helgen call you a hero. 
But a hero doesn't use a power like the voice to murder his king and usurp his throne. You started this war, plunged Skyrim into chaos, and now the Empire is going to put you down and restore the peace. And so it begins. What was that? It's nothing. Carry on. Yes, General Tullius. Give them their last. Look at me. I'm not the reason you're. Your souls to Aetherius. Let's give me the side eye. The eight divines upon For the love of Talos, shut up and let's get this over with. <laughs> As you wish. Every Skyrim player during this scene. <laughs> Come on, I haven't got all morning. Every Skyrim player during this scene. All right, get down. My ancestors are smiling at me, Imperials. Can you say the same? And fuck. There's that noise again. You imperial bastards! Justice! Death to the Stormcloaks! As fearless in death as he was in life. I'm just trying to look at the horse again. Next! The Nord and the Rags! Hey! My mom made me this outfit. Here it is again. It took her a month. Did you hear that? I said, next prisoner! To the block prisoner. Nice and easy. Alright, here we go. Mimir many lives about to uh, not live up to his name. Well, we've been in a few scraps before. Always managed to find our way out of it. Ugh. Hey! What in oblivion is that? Boom, boom, boom. What do you see? It's in the cloud. Hello. What a timely arrival. Whoa! Alright, Rayloff, I'm with you. I just gotta check on... No! Hadvar the horse. I will remember you. Now we have a true reason to hate Alduin. Alright, I'm coming in. I'm coming in. Make room, Rayloff. Make room. What is that thing? Could the legends be true? Legends don't burn down villages. Well said, well said. Well... Can't just be standing around here. Alright, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. What are- Whoa! Okay. Okay, Dragon Breath. Dragon Breath on Legendary Difficulty. Not something I want to mess with. Alright. You want me to jump, huh? Alright. Let's take a little look here at the settings menu. If we go to gameplay, Difficulties on Legendary. It will have to be throughout the entirety of the series. Some of the other settings that are here. I like how the voice is cranked quite a bit. You can also see that it says Quick Pray, Pray and Recall. Instead of Quick Save, Save and Loads. We'll see if we can figure out why that is. Oh, here we have some beautiful Juniper Meads. Back for that. How are we doing over here? It's just a kid, we can get through him. Oh, the dragon. Well, I think I'll wait over here with the rest of them. Alright, very good. You're not the horse. Get out of here. Alright, we can't do much since we're in rags. I can't interact with things, I can't pick up things. We need to just get through this and try not to... Perish? That would be preferable if we can actually keep our life. They're fighting well. Okay. Into the keep. But now we have a choice to make. Who do we go with? Raylof? Hadvar. Raylof? Hadvar. Fine. I hope that dragon takes you all to Sovereign Guard. You, come on. Into the keep. Raylof, baby, let's go. Let's go to Helgen Keep. Alright. Mistfire, bless my soul. Okay, we're good. We are good, Rayloff. Lead the way. Lead the way. We'll meet again in Sovngarde, brother. Ah. Oh. Looks like we're the only ones who made it. It's fine. 
That thing was a dragon. Got tankards, no doubt. brooms. Just like the children's stories and the legends. The harbingers of the end times. We can gear up, we can defeat them. We better get moving. Come here. Let me see if I can get those bindings off. There you go. You may as well take Thank Gunyar's you. gear. He won't be needing it anymore. Alright, as you can see, we do have Sky UI, uh, one of the few mods that we are using, because a more PC-friendly user interface is going to be essential when we go through some of the different uh, goals that we have to do, which includes collecting lots of items. Alright, get that armor on, and give that axe a few swings. I'm here we are then. Find some way out of here. Yeah. Ah, this one's locked. Beautiful. Let's see about that game. Beautiful, beautiful. What kind of magic do we have? We have Battle Cry as we were Nord. Targets flee for 30 seconds. That's gonna come in handy for sure. We're gonna hotkey some flames, healing, hotkey that iron war axe, and get get ready to party, really. So the first combat encounter is coming up. Damn. No way to open this from our side. Oh, Misfire, bless me. But we have a trick. It's called, let somebody else do the heavy lifting. We're just gonna let them aggro Rayloff, and once they're locked on him, then we jump on him. I'm gonna help, but I don't want them focusing on me, because they're gonna deal a lot of damage. Oh, yep, Rayloff! There we go! And then, fire, fire, fire. So when it comes to playstyle... Stamina is low. When it comes to playstyle, we're gonna do everything. We're gonna have fun testing out every different method of play. There's gonna be magic to two-handed, two bow, and back in the in the span of ten seconds. We're just gonna do what we can do to survive. And that's gonna be the important part. Now one of the things I wanna try to do with my flame spell early on is letting that damage over time effect work a little bit. So rather than firing a concentrated beam of fire, we're just gonna do a little a little burst here, a little burst there. And that's gonna work out pretty well for us. And he's down. Which leaves us with the captain. Enough. And she's down. Maybe one of these Imperials <sighs> had the key. Maybe indeed. Imperial light armor, Imperial sword, an iron dagger, and some studded Imperial armor. I'll take it all Let's in the beginning. Oh, where Rayloff? No. You <laughs> do Alright, some heavy armor. I'll take that. Oh my gosh. Here we are. This man's terrible. I will pick up a tankard and I will pick up a broom and pick up a lantern too, because you never know. So it's probably time we talked about the achievement goals for this series. Now, I have a lot of stuff that I want to talk to you about and so much I want to just gush all over your face about. However, I am going to try to... M2 to block, that was a lie. I am going to try to keep it a little... As we go through Helgen, we're gonna explain things step by step, instead of just stopping in one place and explaining it all. For now, we're just gonna loot everything. So, the goal with this series is to complete a series of uh, completion goals. Mystifier, bless me. Let's take a look at them. Now this is our goal, to become the savior of Skyrim. However, to get here, we must complete the 24 underlying completion goals. Let's briefly go over them. Achievement Hunter is to get every achievement in the game. Lore Seeker is to complete every eligible quest in the game. Mastery is to raise all skills to level 100. Cosmic Might is to acquire all perk points. Charted means to find every map marker in the game. Treasure Trove is to complete all the treasure maps, and gain the booty at the end. Carpenter is to acquire and upgrade all the houses. Hoarder is to acquire one copy of every item in the game. Now these are items that can reasonably be gotten, meaning that if it's a quest item that you have to deliver in for a quest, obviously we can't keep it. But even so, many of those can be pickpocketed back, and this list is sitting at about 8,000 items. I've divided it into several subcategories, and we're gonna be able to keep track of these as we play through the game. Because obviously, when doing a challenge like this, 
keeping track is going to be extremely important. That's why I have this interactive spreadsheet that I've made for Savior of Skyrim, where I'm keeping track visually of all of these goals. I will have a link to this in the description should you wish to open it up, leave a comment if you find something to comment on, or even duplicate the spreadsheet and have your own version if you want to do this challenge. I'll also find a nice way at the end of every episode to just let you know how far along we are progress-wise. Let's move on to the next goal, Arcanist. This is to learn every spell in the game. Then we have Enchanter, which is to learn every enchantment in the game. Bilingual is to learn every word of power, unlock every shout. Storytime is to read every book and skill book in the game. And when I say read, I mean physically read. Septums to spare is to invest in every store in the game. Friend of Skyrim is to recruit every attainable follower. Champion of Charity is to give money to every beggar in the game. Equestrian Entourage is to acquire all horses in the game. Alchemist is to learn all alchemical effects from all the ingredients in the game. Sickly is to contract every disease in the game at least once. Stomach pain is to taste every ingredient in the game. Dinner is served is to cook and bake all the foods that can be cooked and baked. Exterminator is to slay one of every creature type. Came, Saw, Conquered is a completion goal that we get for clearing locations. Meaning defeating every enemy in a dungeon. Killing Spree requires us to kill one of every NPC type, like Stormcloak, or Thalmor, or Battle Mage. Not the Boss of Me requires us to slay every boss slash unique enemy in the game. And all of these I have lists over. Now I've gone over all of these and plotted in the info and double checked most of it, but this list will continue to update as we play through the game. There are still things to discover and learn, and if you notice anything on this spreadsheet that I have to add, do let me know, and we're just gonna keep updating this real-time, collaboratively. However, just doing those objectives, eh, they're not super hard because Skyrim is filled with ways to exploit it and make it very easy. Therefore, we have the challenge modifiers. Firstly, the Masochist modifier locks the difficulty to Legendary. The Scenic Stroll modifier prevents the use of fast travel on the map. Now, I will allow horse carriage to be used as long as we've visited that city on foot before. I think that's a fair compromise. Independent Skiller means that I cannot raise any levels at a skill trainer. Clubless means that I cannot use any Creation Club content. This right here is Skyrim Special Edition. I've intentionally downgraded from the Anniversary Edition because I don't intend to play or use any Creation Club content. This also excludes survival mode. Fair Game is a very important challenge modifier and it essentially says we cannot use big bugs or exploits in the game. Because there are ways to make Skyrim very easy by fortifying your restoration and using enchanting and alchemy to suddenly have a weapon that deals two bajillion damage. Once you have that, a lot of the fun goes away. So I'm just putting it here as a, hey, let's try to make this fun for ourselves. Now again, it's up to interpretation what constitutes an exploit. So we'll just have to take them on a per scenario basis. But the bottom line is, if it makes the game dull and too easy, we most likely won't do it. And finally, Legend Lock. This essentially means that we cannot make our skills legendary before we have achieved mastery. Meaning we can't start making skills legendary before all of them have reached level 100 and we are level 81. I think that's a fair compromise because making skills legendary lets you level up very quickly and I would rather wait with all of the intrigue that comes with that and just focus on getting a level 81 character first and then getting all perk points. Now, these are just my criteria for 100% completion. There is no objective 100% completion of a big game like Skyrim. It's really up to you 
to define what makes it 100%, right? So, with that in mind, let's continue onwards. Mixed unit tactics we will take, the holds of Skyrim. We'll have to find a little reading time to read through some of the books. Open Skyrim, that's where the others came in. And a final little chest here with an Imperial Light Helmet. Alright, let's dress up a bit. As you can see, we're already starting to collect some items here. I would like to stash away items at a safe chest before I can really count them as having been gotten and collected. So, we're gonna have to find some places to uh, play stuff away. So, we're gonna look like an Imperial Officer right now, simply because it gives us most armor and more armor is good because that means we die less. So let's go on. Rayloff has been patiently waiting for us. Thank you. You're a good lads. You're good lads. We have buckets. What's in the sack? Potatoes. Excellent. Very important. Cabbage. Also, pro tip. Never trust the wheel carts. Because they are, uh, they are cursed. They will kidnap your entire family. They will. Look up Kajor Season 1 if you don't believe me. And it's a kettle. Oh! That was me using the battle cry because I pressed the Z button, which is how you pick up stuff in Oblivion. That's not how you pick up stuff in Skyrim, actually. Isn't that fun? Alright, I just made my only friend in the world flee from me. This is great. What more can go... <sighs> Got anything to say to that? Damn, that dragon doesn't give up easy. Alright. Grab everything important and let's move. Uh-oh. Dragon's burning everything to the ground. I just need to Miss gather some emotions. It won't take us alive. All right. Let's get in here with our buddy Rayloff. Yeah. It's really nice to have a follower with us, somebody to take the heat off. We're most likely going to be having that for big chunks of the game because if somebody turns their attention on us, the damage they deal on legendary really hurts. However, I do want to go through certain parts of the game without a follower just to really, you know, Test our skills. Yeah! But for now, we got Rayloff with us whether we like it or not. And I think I like it. Ugh. Excellent. See if you can find any potions. We'll need them. We'll have a little look around. More Imperial armor and gear. For now, I'm just gonna loot everything. And then we can rather stash it away whenever we become over encumbered. Because there are so many varieties of basket, for instance. It's not enough to say that we collected a basket when I think there's like five or six varieties of them. All of these are unique items that I would like to collect. So obviously we gotta keep our eyes, our eyes open as we go around. Alright, forks, breads, everything is good. As you can see, these are two different types of cast iron pots. <laughs> and so we're gonna need one of each. Oh boy. No, I don't quite realize what it is I've done by saying that I'm going to collect every item in Skyrim. Especially not when you consider random enchanted uh, gear. Because that's thousands and thousands of items and... Uh, let's not think about it. Here are those potions he mentioned. We'll take that. We'll just gather some of these baskets. Sort them later. It's my motto. Some carrots, some cabbage. We can make a mean vegetable soup from this, which is going to be... Important for us. Are these buckets the same? I think it's only one type of bucket. You never know. More potatoes. Rayloff, don't give me that look. Okay, this is important stuff, okay? You never know how long we're gonna live, so we need to just make the most of it. Done. Let's get moving. Alright, I think I'm good. I think I am good. Cool. Alright, torture room. Torture room. That's what I just said, Rayloff. Whoa! Alright, we got Stormcloak back up in here. I would like to get my hand on a two-hander. Because I do wanna... When I've been just... Oh! Thinking about how I do want to play this. A two-handed weapon is at least something early game that I think would be fun to have. Simply for the stagger. Combined with some stamina help. I think we can do quite well with it. Wait a second. Looks like there's something in this cage. Alrighty. Torturer's hood, very good. I'll take that. I'll take those. Ah, uh, it's locked. See if you can get it open with some picks. All right. We might need that gold once we get out. We're gonna do that. 
Now, there are certain skills that I'm not going to make legendary when that time comes. Lockpicking is one of them, because I do believe you only get experience if you pick a lock you haven't picked before. Meaning there's a finite amount of locks to pick. Novice ropes, we'll take. Spell Tome of Sparks. Very cool. And we are moving very slowly right now. Can I fix that? I can. Very nice. So I think as we come across locked things, I'm generally going to pick them. Because it feels... it feels good. It feels good to train our sneaky side. But Mir's gonna have to adapt to a lot of different ways of living and he's going to have to do things that are rather immoral when we want to do all the content in the game. We'll just have to see his reasoning for that. I am excited about the prospect of Mimir as a character. When we played Oblivion with Marina Mistfire, she was a very cold and distant person because, well, she was female and I didn't really want to give her a, a, a voice, a half-assed voice. Meanwhile, Mimir I do want to find a voice to give him, so I'm gonna I'm gonna feel it out a little bit. Brief history of the Empire. We'll take this too. Now we're starting to become a little over encumbered because I've been picking up a lot of stuff. So instead of just dropping it out in the world, which is a little bad, because when you drop items, the game has to remember where you dropped them, and that can cause issues down the line on your save file. If, however, you find a corpse that's going to disappear anyways. You can store away stuff, and since I only need one copy of these things, I'm gonna place away any additional copies that I may have acquired. The Imperial Armor is way too heavy, I think. Some of them I might keep because I want to sell them. Like the Imperial Bracers are probably okay to sell. And... Uh, the Light Armor in general, I think we can... Maybe, maybe drop those too. Lots of Imperial Swords can go. Some of these Daggers. Put away the iron mace, the iron sword. And generally just try to keep one of the different things here. Studded imperial armor. Nice. Wooden bowl and a wooden ladle. And a couple of tankards. There we go. We can move again and we've still collected everything unique there is to collect so far. Ray <laughs> Rayloff was just having a mo- Rayloff! I sure hope there's a way out <laughs> somewhere down here. I think he fell asleep waiting for me. I know, it's not gonna be this slow pace the entire s- that's a lie, it's gonna be pretty- Here's the thing about the pace of this series. This series is gonna be all about enjoying the game. It's gonna be that one final run through of Skyrim where you're nostalgic and, at least for me, where I get to experience things in Skyrim I've not experienced before. Because there are so much of Skyrim that I've never done. Because I've never played Skyrim properly outside of making YouTube videos. So there are many quests and things that I've not discovered and that I'm eager to experience. And I will do it with you. For now, we're gonna take the ragged ropes of this man because I feel like it. And we're gonna search a couple of skeletons. They got some bone meal. And now, one of the things I wanna do with ingredients is that I wanna taste them because I think it's fun. You find something new, you find a bumblebee, you find a giant's toe and you just Put him in your mouth. Mm, nom, 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 nom. Some salt. Mm, nom, 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 nom. Blah, blah, blah. Who knew? Bone meal and salt don't taste good together. But now we've tasted those two, and I can add those to the list. The completion list. I think Rayloff is. Are we just gonna go on without Rayloff? I think Rayloff broke a little. That's fine. We're all a little broken on the inside, so that just makes him makes him relatable. All right, gang. Orders are to wait until General Tullius arrives. I'm not waiting to be killed by a dragon. We need to uh, I can use Rayloff right now. Okay, we're going in without Rayloff, I guess. This is fine. Misfire bless me. Yeah. I'm hoping this uh, one storm cloak lady here with the two hundred dies. That would be uh, that would be nice. I can just borrow it from her. And oh, he's down. Big boy Imperial soldier man thinks he's so cool. Just ow! Got an archer. I'll deal with the archer. I will deal with the archer. I believe on legendary difficulty. Enemies deal whoop! 175% of their regular damage, and I deal 25% of mine. That might sound bad. Oh boy, there comes the two hander. But at the same time, on oblivion on max difficulty. 
the enemies would deal 600% their regular damage, and we would deal one-sixth of ours. So, it's, it's gonna be brutal, but I'm ready for this. The thing about the Saber of Skyrim challenge, as opposed to Oblivion one, is that... This isn't my first rodeo now, and I can be much more ambitious with the different objectives that I would like to do. Eh, he's down. <sighs> Did Ray oh, Rayloff made it. Very good. Alright. Let's quickly loot here, make sure they didn't have anything that I don't already have with me. Imperial Soldier Boy, Iron Arrows and a Longbow. I do want a Longbow. And I think in general... Light armor. Light armor. We'll pick up Light Armor. I can do that. I have been known to be a bit of a hoarder, but I'm trying to get better. Trying. Not very hard, but I, I tell people I'm trying. Now, what I want to do is that I want to also hotkey our longbow, so we can have that ready. Still don't have any uh, big weapons. I'd like to use a, a mace instead. That, and then the longbow on five. I love hotkeying items. It feels so good to just swap between them on the fly without having to enter the menu and killing the pace. So that's going to be what we're going to do. Lots of arrows right now. And all of this light armor. It's going to be some good early game cash for me. I'm feeling good. Let's go, Ray. I can't. Fine, I'll lead the way. He's having a bit of a slow day. I don't think he quite recovered after seeing that horse talk to me at the beginning of the game. Okay. It's a cave. I guess this is the... Yeah. Rayloff's the only one with us now. So I'm gonna pray to the Mistfire. And... Oh! Why did you do? I leave you for one second. And... Right, let's go down here and find some treasure. Look at that. Potion of Minor Healing. That could come in handy, actually. Nine gold? I'll take. Again, I will never understand where the skeletons keep their golds. Like, it, it seems... Unless you put them in your eye sockets... Unless you put them in your jaw... Where do you keep the bones? You ain't got pockets. No flesh to fold. Ugh. So... There's not really anything too unique in here, I believe. But it's nice to just... Make sure we got most of what's here. Let's go, Rayloff. Continue on down. Another skeleton. Leaving a little fortune behind for me. That doesn't go anywhere. You're yes, very observant. Try Let's try this way. Alright. Occasionally, I gotta go pray to the mist fire. Alright, let's go! Legendary difficulty ain't nothing. Let's go! Yeah, we got spiders. Lots of spiders. Too many spiders. Rayloff, there's a lot of spiders in here. Luckily, fire's... Fire's good. Mmm! Mmm! Mm. Look at these weak baby spiders! They can't even do anything! <laughs> what do I have to be afraid of? Not much. Let's get the frostbite venom. The Too eyes. many eyes, you know. Alright, get that. Get that. Now, there's something very satisfying to me about playing something on... Knowing that you're playing something on the hardest difficulty. That Ooh, spider egg! Let me have a taste. Ugh. Very bitter. I like it. Oh, look at that. Skeever tail. Oh, don't mind if I do. Mm. Delicious. Another skeever tail. It's a snack for later. Mimir has a weird diet, okay? Don't hate on him. Let, let the man live his life. Pick up some of the spider eggs and just hope they don't hatch in our pockets. Because I would scream. So let's not do that. Gather a couple of them, where we can. Alright. I think that's good for this cave. This way. Is it time for Sneaky Bear? I think it's time for Sneaky Bear. Now this is one of the areas where you can stay for a while and train up your sneak by just sneaking a rail off, but... There is a problem with that. We're gonna level like crazy, and I don't want to level like crazy. Because when we level up in an Elder Scrolls game, these recent games, things get harder. And I don't want them to be harder right now. I think they're properly hard. Hold up! Oh, there's a bear just ahead. Oh no! See her? Yes. I'd rather not tangle with her right now. Let's try to sneak by. Oh, pfft. just take it nice and slow. The coin Watch purse. Where you step. Or if you're feeling lucky. 
Oh, he's gonna give me a longbow anyways, okay. Might take her by surprise. Hold on, hold on. Go ahead. I'm just gonna get the gold. Your lead and watch oh shit, I'm just, I'm just gonna get the gold. I got the gold, Rayloff! Oh, hey there. Alright. I wanna demonstrate to you the power Mimir has, what makes him a special character. Mistfire bless me! I can go into the fray, unafraid, because I am being watched over from above. No matter how strong the enemies are, they're coming my way! They simply can't touch me. And that's the power of faith. Oh, there's a wine up here. Except, ow! I almost died to those bones. <laughs> bones are scary though. Very nice. Cave bear. Bear claws. Excellent. Guess he hadn't been sh uh, clipping his toenails lately. If he had, I'd actually be more surprised than if he hadn't. I'm gonna put him in my mouth. Hold on. Mmm. Wonderful. Restore stamina. That, those actually, hey, it's a nice crunch to them. Ugh. Black Briar Mead. Let's not forget about that. And of course, the iron helmets hidden away. Ooh, looking. Looking fancy, but not so worse than the Imperial Officer helmet, so. I think we're good. We would look kind of cool, though. Ah, we'd look kind of like a basic Dovahkiin. That's no fun. Oh, definitely had a real snack over here. Okay, we are nearing the end of the little tutorial area. We're about to be released out in the wide world. I don't know if there are any goods up here. Oh, it's like a beautiful little place though. It does give us the opportunity to, ow, step on rib cages to see the world. Now, we've been very- we've been doing well in combat, I haven't even been able to show you Mimir's gifts, up. which is very no, interesting, so... I guess... that's a story for another day. Let's go, Rayloff. Let's go. Wait! What's up? Oh, dragon. Big dragon. Well, guys and girls... There he goes. You're looking at it. Gone for good this time. Beginning of no Skyrim. No way to know if anyone else made it out alive. But this place is going to be swarming with Imperials. Hey, berries. Nice. Out of here. I'll taste them in a second. My sister, Gerda, Quest runs complete. The mill in Riverwood, just up the road. I'm sure she'd help you out. I mean, we'll stop by Gerda. Probably best. It's an objective. Good luck. I wouldn't have made it without your help today. You say split up, but you're- oh, oh, no, yeah, yeah, he misses me already. I get it. I have that effect on people. Guys and girls, I'm so ready for Savior of Skyrim. Where do we go? Now the world is our oyster, okay? We can go wherever we wish. Well, it's probably gonna be down to Riverwood. I have a little thingy I want to do here. There's a mine nearby, Ember Shard Mine, that I quite fancy and like, as like an early game challenge. I'm wondering if we can do it on Legendary without a follower. I think that could be fun. It's gonna harvest some mountain you know, flyers. F flyers? Yes, you know, the, the flyers you get out in the woods. Seen the true face handed out by deer and the like. If anyone will know what the coming of the dragon means, it's Ulfric. Alright, he wants me to join the Stormcloak Rebellion. Interesting objective. I want this butterfly. <sighs> Wonderful. What does a butterfly taste like, I wonder? Mm, bitter. Blue mountain flyer. Fly flower. Gosh darn. Purple mountain flower. Good. Red mountain flower. Look at this. Snowberries. And a thistle branch. Ow. Yeah. I am learning so much. My mother never taught me not to put stuff in my mouth, that I find out in the wilds. And hey, I... Now life is a little hard, but... I get through. We are gonna wrap up this first episode here. I'm not sure how long these are going to be. Probably not as long as this one. But I did want to just get out there. Head down to the, to the Guardian Stones. It's such a nice place to end it off. Is that a fox? He knows I'm here. Hey, you. You little scummer, you foxy no, 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 no. 
You're on the list. You're on the list. I have a contract with your name on it. I made it myself, but still. There we go. Kill the fox. Wonderful. Oh. Iron arrow. Who could have done such a thing? Pick some more flowers as we're going down. Alchemy is going to be quite important, but at the same time, it's important not to overdo it. Or really overdo anything. Because again, we'll level up quickly and things will get a little uncomfortable. Come, Raylof. Oh. Bleak Falls Barrow. Oh yeah. Never understood how my sister could stand living in the shadow of that place. I guess you get used to it. Looks quite cool. Wonder if that's somewhere we can stop by too. Part of me doesn't even want to get a follower. <laughs> Just wants to try things on uh, on his own. Hmm. Maybe we will for the big for the beginning of the game at least. All right. The end of our journey today. The Guardian Stones. These are the Guardian Stones. Three of the thirteen ancient standing stones that dot Skyrim's landscape. Go ahead. See for yourself. The Thief. The Mage. And the Warrior. Now, I would like to stop by all of the Warrior- uh, all of the Birth Sign Stones and get uh, their power at least once. I think what I'm most interested in getting right now is probably the Mage Stone. I don't really want to level quickly, but if I do want to level some skills quickly, it'd probably be my Destruction and Restoration. So I'm gonna start by getting the Warrior Stone. And he's gonna be like, oh yes! Big Brawny Nord! No dumb magic here! And then we're gonna do the Thief Stone. And then... We're gonna do the Mage Stone, because that's the one I want. And we only get the last one. I can pretend I'm getting all three. And that I'm super cool. I'm feeling happy about it. Look at that vista to end on. Like, Skyrim Special Edition is really pretty. You don't need graphics and graphics enhancing mods to to make Skyrim Special Edition pretty. It just is out of the box. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, our uh, it's 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 the start of our journey with our boy here, with Mimir, many lives. We're not going to read a book in this episode, I think. We've done enough already, but I figured maybe that could be like a nice wind-down activity in other episodes. I hope you're ready for this journey. It's going to take us several years. That's how it is. Uh, YouTube is something I do as a hobby on the sides. Uh, I do work full-time. And I'm thinking I'm going to upload one episode of this a week. Maybe on Saturdays. So you just have that weekly treat to look forward to. But as I said, we're going to take our time with this, we're going to have fun, we're going to explore Skyrim, see everything that it has to offer, and that's going to be it. Our final journey through Skyrim, our 100% completion journey, it begins here. So, I hope you stay tuned to the rest of this series. Have a still good day, take care, and stay awesome. But most importantly, everybody, Stay dark. Goodbye.